John Schnatter is one of America's most iconic entrepreneurs and is best known as the founder and former CEO of the American restaurant franchise company named Papa John's Pizza. Schnatter got Papa John's idea at the tender age of 15 while washing dishes at a pizza place called Rocky's in Jeffersonville, Indiana. He understood the best ways to make pizza, despite the fact that they offered higher quality products and didn't provide the same delivery service. This observed gap in the market was the basis for Schnatter's Papa John's business plan. He sold his 1972 Camaro Z28, a car he loved so much, he decided to give his pizza shop idea a try. For the first six months, the pizza business generated only about $1,500 on a weekly basis. During the early 1990s, the company underwent a phenomenal pattern of growth, expanding to 200 restaurants and about $82 million in sales. He blamed the NFL's handling of its players' national anthem protests for the decline in his pizza sales. Forbes later learned that Schnatter had used the N-word, and other controversial remarks on another conference call prior to the NFL call. At a very early age, John Schnatter was fascinated by pizzas. His pizza became popular, and that laid the foundations of Papa John's. John Schnatter, nicknamed commercially Papa John, is one of America's most iconic entrepreneurs and is best known as the founder and former CEO of the American restaurant franchise company named Papa John's Pizza, which operates the fourth largest pizza delivery restaurant chain in the US. When he started in 1984, he had no money and life was tough. He sold his car and used the money to establish a pizza shop which later turned into one of the world's largest pizza chains. Want to know how he did it? Then watch the full video. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinary successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Schnatter was born in Jefferson, Indiana on the 22nd of November of 1961 to Robert Schnatter and Mary Beth Ackerson. His father, Robert, was both a judge and a pub owner while his mother, Mary, was a real estate agent. He's of German ancestry, an American national, and identifies with Christianity as a religion. As regards to his formal education, he graduated from Jefferson High School in 1980 and later earned a business degree from Ball State University in 1983. In the 80s, John Schnatter's father was the co-owner of Mix Lounge, a tavern in Jeffersonville, the location for which Schnatter would later begin his pizza operation. Schnatter got Papa John's idea at the tender age of 15 while washing dishes at a pizza place called Rocky's in Jeffersonville, Indiana. When demand for pizza was high at Rocky's, Schnatter would be pulled away from washing the dishes to help with making pizza. He always paid attention. As he focused on the pizza making process, he began to develop a keen understanding of what customers wanted. Where they made the pizza was right next to where the dishes were washed. He observed that on days when the plate came back empty, it meant that the customers enjoyed the pizza for that day, and he learned to follow the method and recipe for that day. On days when the pizza was half-eaten and customers didn't take it with them, it meant they didn't enjoy what was served that day and Schnatter knew to avoid making pizza that way. Soon enough, he understood the best ways to make pizza. In addition to knowing how to properly make pizzas, Schnatter noticed that while national franchises did home delivery, the local individually owned shops, despite the fact that they offered higher quality products, didn't provide the same delivery service. This observed gap in the market was the basis for Schnatter's Papa John's business plan. He would make quality pizza and also offer delivery services. After his graduation from Ball State University, Schnatter moved home in September of 1983. At home, he got to know that his father's bar, Mix Lounge, was struggling financially. To protect the bar from bankruptcy, he sold his 1972 Camaro Z28, a car he loved so much. As the bar became more stable, he decided to give his pizza shop idea a try. He bought used restaurant equipment for $1,600 and started producing pizza from the broom closet. He was selling $5 pizzas at the back while 50 cent beers were being sold in the front. Schnatter exceeded his own early expectations in 83. His pizza proved so popular that a year later, he moved into an adjoining space. That same year, dipping sauce, specifically made for pizza, was invented by Papa John's Pizza and has since become popular, especially when eating the crust of the pizza. As the business rose to fame, sales increased. By March 1985, the business was making 3,000 to 4,000 pizzas on a weekly basis. For the first six months, the pizza business generated only about $1,500 on a weekly basis and was financially dependent on the bar. But as the thriving establishment became more popular, sales skyrocketed. His initial goal for Papa John's was to have a yearly revenue of $50,000. However, when he opened a real location outside of the broom closet, he was making a whopping $9,000 in weekly sales while comparable national sales were doing about $6,000 in weekly sales. Riding on the wave of his newly achieved success, he sought to expand his business to other parts of the country. Learning from popular brands such as KFC and Long John Silvers, which at that time were expanding rapidly in the same region where Schnatter was building his business, it was easy for him to conclude that franchising was the next logical step. 
During the early 1990s, the company underwent a phenomenal pattern of growth, expanding to 200 restaurants and about $82 million in sales. After recording a total revenue of $50 million in 1992 and doubling in size every year since 1986, the company decided to go public in 1993, with an initial offering of 1.45 million shares at $13 a share. Today, there are 4,500 franchise Papa John locations, 700 of which are owned by Schnatter and corporate Papa John's. The rest, about 3,800 pizza shops, are independently operated and owned. Schnatter is not one to quickly forget his roots. Some years back, he searched and found the very same Camaro that he had sold in early 1984 to help keep his father's bar open. He paid the owner $250,000 to get it back and says the car serves as a daily reminder for him that hard work and sacrifice pay off in the long run. John Schnatter was the reason why the company encountered some controversies. It started with his statement during the company's conference call, where he blamed the NFL's handling of its players' national anthem protests for the decline in his pizza sales. Papa John's had been the official pizza sponsor of the NFL since 2010, and their shares dropped by 13% after Schnatter's statement was reported. After that, he also lost his title as Papa John's CEO, and the company's franchise sales dropped by as much as 5%. Papa John's also stepped down as the official pizza sponsor of the NFL, and Pizza Hut took over. Forbes later learned that Schnatter had used the N-word, and other controversial remarks on another conference call prior to the NFL call. When this was discovered, Schnatter stepped down as the chairman of the board of Papa John's. Aside from making pizzas and providing great careers, the Papa John's Foundation for Community is designed to help foster equality, fairness, opportunity, and respect for all. That explains why they provided more than a million dollars in grants in 2019. The foundation is also committed to sustainability and reduction of environmental impact. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the members of the foundation did a tremendous amount of work supporting the local communities by delivering pizzas to first responders and frontline workers, thus ensuring that everyone at home had access to quality meals delivered to their doorstep. During this period, the foundation donated and delivered to many essential businesses and charities such as hospitals and healthcare facilities across the country, food banks, police and fire departments, the Salvation Army, homeless shelters, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Volunteers of America, Boys and Girl Club locations, and many more organizations. Founded in 2019, the Papa John's Foundation supports communities as they work together for equality and fairness. Since 2020, Papa John's has collaborated with Shaquille O'Neal, a Papa John's board member and franchise, to offer customers pizza with a surprise, the Shakaroni. Through the sales of the Shakaroni, Papa John's has donated more than $6 million to the Papa John's Foundation. The foundation in turn has used these donations for charitable purposes such as building community funds to support national nonprofit partners, including those who make hunger relief their core mission. Also, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the John H. Snatter Family Foundation donated a million dollars towards aiding small businesses in the U.S. The fund was distributed to nonprofit organizations focused on economic recovery for small businesses and workers. The foundation also directly provided aid to some business owners. At a very early age, John Schnatter was fascinated by pizzas. He was always curious about how they were made and how one can create the best pizza. He was lucky to have his father's pub where he just needed to sell pizza. He sold his car and bought the equipment for pizza and started to sell pizzas at his father's pub. Within some months, his pizza became popular and that laid the foundations of Papa John's. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.